today I'm going to talk about a couple of things. I'm going to talk about financial wellness. I'm going to talk about what our world looks like, um, why women make incredible investors, and uh, what steps you can take. So, first thing here. So, what does being financially well mean? Well, it's all really about you being in the driver's seat. So it's about you knowing what you have, uh, knowing what you want and where you're headed and what steps you can take to be there. So it's it's quite simple, but we'll, we'll dive into some detail on it. But I want to first of all talk about our reality and Annie's um, mentioned this. You know, stress is different mm -hmm. to different people. Um, but we can see from overseas studies like this one from Canada's Wealth Simple that when it comes to stress and worries, money is the number one factor. Um, I also like this because when I ask my partner what he's thinking about, and if he says nothing, 10% of the time, it's actually true. Uh, but it's not just Canada. So we also know that in the US, um, there's been some studies that show that women have a higher economic anxiety score. Um, and that's done by Edison Research in 2019. So we'll just look over, because it's not just offshore, it's also in New Zealand. This is some information from the Financial Services Council, which is the industry body for finance. And they did a survey of Kiwis um, they released this year, but it was actually done pre-lockdowns. And it showed that 70% of us are worrying about money regularly. So that's daily, weekly, monthly. And of those, 27 are worrying about it on a daily basis. Over half of us say that financial issues um, adversely affect our overall well-being. Only 44% feel like they're prepared for retirement. So there's a there's a lot going on there, and we can see that kind of matches up from um, from the poll we have here as well. That on the response to do you worry about money regularly, we've got just over 56% of us are on this particular session. So we need to take some action. That. Right, so let's talk about women though. What does it mean for us? It's not rocket science. Um, we live longer, so that gives us more time to save and invest, but it also means we probably spend more time in retirement. And we're generally paid less. We know this on globally, we earn 68% of what a man does on average. Um, in New Zealand, it's a bit better. Um, it's 9.1% now, it's slowly increased. Um, but you know, it does mean that we have to have more savings with less income see us over a longer period. So all this change can mean that we sometimes feel like we have a loss of empowerment and, um, and it adds to that kind of stress and worry. So what are we going to do about it? I'm going to introduce you to someone. And hopefully I don't look like this. This is future you. So I want you to picture you when you are 20 years older. So for some of us, that means retirement. Um, for others, we'll be on the road or there'll be some kind of event happening in your life, which, um, which is a major for you. So what do you look like? Um, are you still enjoying life? Are you shopping? Are you dining out? Uh, are you still involved in sports? Um, are you doing overseas travel? You know, what resources do you have um, and are there things that, that I need to think about now to put on hold for future me? Um, are there things that I can put on, put away now to reward me of the future? I think looking at that picture, one of those might be hair dye, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what do we need to do? First step, we've got to remind ourselves that we're awesome. Um, I'm going to go through some myths. So the first is that uh, we're spenders and we're not investors. Now, if you think about um, media, the pretty woman moment, that women all love to go shopping and that's what we do. But in reality, we are um, more often than not the decision makers for the day-to-day -day family um, spending. And in fact, by 2028, it's expected that 75% of households discretionary spend will be controlled by women. So that means that we're in the power Play. We are in the driving seat towards our own financial well-being. Um, but women tend to save more than men, but we tend to invest less, and we're going to change that. Good news, ASB did some research that came out this year that showed that women, uh, or Kiwi women, are um, on average 2% better off day to day than men, even though we're earning on average 9% less. So. Um, the second thing there, that women don't have what it takes, that we don't have the kahunas, I mean, it's true, we're more cautious and we're more risk adverse, we're more aware of the risks, but that's a really good thing. 
you know, it shows, studies show that we spend more time researching investment choices um, and we're less likely to chase hot tips or trade on wins, which is awesome. Uh, the third thing there that we don't know what we're talking about. Well, there is there's a gap in financial knowledge, absolutely. But we are more likely to seek financial advice, um, which puts us in a much better position. And it means that we're not overconfident. And the last one there is the biggie, um, that I don't have enough money to invest. We hear this a lot and it's utter cosmolip. Um, it's a common misconception that you have to be wealthy to invest, but you can start small and um, next time that you get a pay rise or you get a bit of extra cash, think about that future you and think whether um, they would much, whether they would benefit more from that as a reward. Um, so we have the three main components that it takes to be great investors. We get research, like we get advice, um, we're risk aware and we have self-control. So that's great, but what about well-being, right? Um, so taking positive actions towards money is a huge confidence builder. The number one thing that makes us feel in charge of our futures is putting money away for financial goals. So largest global study on finance and well-being, which was done by Wealth Simple, um, the results showed that when people take steps towards their financial situation, so putting any money away, it makes us feel more positive about our financial future. And that's regardless of age, of affluence, of gender or of life stage. The next thing is just to start. There, starting is the simple, most important thing you can do. Regardless of the amount or the frequency, procrastination is a major enemy to this. There is no perfect time to start investing and there is no perfect investment. Just get stuck in. It's never too late to make a start. And the good news is if you've got a KiwiSaver, then you're already an investor. So taking stock, we think about, women think about money very differently. We think about what we can do with it rather than being a, a pile of gold. Um, and what we do with our money can have a greater impact on our financial well-being more than our income and then our education. So you have goals, you have plans, you know the direction that you want to head in. You know, think about those goals, think about your time frame and think about how much risk you're willing to take with that money. And that's going to help you determine the right kind of investment for you. Ask yourself, do you know who manages your KiwiSaver? Do you contribute? Over 60% of New Zealanders don't contribute to their KiwiSaver. We need to start doing that. Uh, do you know what fund you're in? Make sure that it's personal to you. Get in touch with your provider. Um, if you're not sure who that is, do a search on your email because they've probably sent you a statement or the IRD can help you find out who they are. But either way, just make sure you're in the driving seat. Ask yourself how much you can afford, whether it's a buck or a hundred bucks or a grand, whatever it is, create the habits of rewarding future you. Um, there's lots of budgeting tools that are out there as well. So uh, sorted.org.nz is a really cool place to start. They've got a budgeting tool. They've also got a lot of different tools that you can use for your KeepSaver as well. Um, and the last thing there is ensuring you have got some rainy day funds. So there was some New Zealand government stats that came out this year. Nearly a third of Kiwis don't have enough savings to cover one month's income. Now, we need to make sure that um, if COVID's taught us anything, if that stuff happens, right? So we've, we will feel a lot more secure and a lot more confident when we've got a little bit put aside for that rainy day as well, no matter how much it is. Good advice, this is the big one. So we found at Craig's that women who don't have an active role in finance often come to us uh, when it's times of trauma. So divorce, death, those kind of moments. Um, and it's often because they think financial advice is, is for the big guns and it's not. Um, there's plenty of options for everyone. Often financial advice is part of your investment package. So instead of being the next Warren Buffett, just uh, get a financial advisor to help make a plan for you. Um, you'll be in the driving seat, but they'll kind of be your sat nav. Um, an advisor can really help you on a journey and make it easy. So we've got 160 advisors across the country, 19 locations from Kerry Kerry to Gore. Um, and we've got 44 women and that number's growing as well all across the place. So various age groups. So there's always somebody around who's right fit for you to help you on that journey. 
Um, only 20% of Kiwis get financial advice, um, which is almost the inverse of the number of Kiwis that are worrying about their money. So um, it's, a, it's a great thing to do. You don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be a millionaire. You've just got to get involved. So when we look at markets, you know, they can be unpredictable. And having a plan can really help drown out the noise uh, and help you be disciplined about your investments and time. And we know that women can really excel at this. Um, research shows that when markets are rocky, women who have a plan will generally ride it out. And that's a great strategy for investment. Um, combine this with solid investments and with checking your portfolio is the right fit for you and you're off to a great start. But with markets being unpredictable, you know, we can be too, unfortunately. So um, thanks to our frontal lobe, as we learned. So it's human nature to go through various emotions as we're watching our investment. Um, and our advisor is, is there to help you ride the wave. So um, excuse me for this, but they're kind of like a surfboard for finance. Uh, so make it personal to you and, uh, and make it right for your future you as well. Keep remembering to educate yourself. Awesome that you guys are here. Um, we, the more that we are educated, the more confident that we get, um, and the less likely we are to wait for that crisis point. So, we, Craig's been running this Women's Wealth Program since 2007, um, and we are doing this to help women achieve financial freedom, what we're after. So, check out the, our website, which is craigsip.com or LinkedIn or Facebook um, for more events. We will be, as I say, running these throughout this year. Um, and if you do want to speak to an advisor, then drop a note in the chat or in the Q&A and we will get in touch with you and um, make sure that you have the right person for you. So, where to next? And apologies, I've kind of rushed through this, I'm conscious of time. So, our top four, just start, you're here. The amount doesn't matter, it just starting with a small amount is better than not starting at all. Um, invest for your future and for your future you. Save both short term and long term. And if you have a KiwiSaver, make sure you're contributing. You contribute a certain amount, the government also contributes. You don't want to miss out on that opportunity. Make sure you're in the right fund for you. Um, be confident. We are awesome at this. We naturally have all the right skills to be able to do it. We just need to arm ourselves with the knowledge um, and the confidence to do that. So do your research, talk to an advisor, have a look at your budget, um, and, and you will be well on your way. And the last thing there is talking about money. We need to help each other out. Take your friends and find out on your journey. Show them how you're getting on, show them how you're progressing. Um, keep learning through events like this. Uh, and through um, talking to financial advisors as well. So the last thing I'm just going to finish on is a quote from one of our clients from Sophia in Christchurch. And um, we hear this a lot and it, it makes our jobs awesome. So our clients are often talking about the positive impact investing has had on their financial situation and on their overall sense of well-being and achievement. Um, we hear clients talk about how they feel that they've gained power and control of their circumstances of their future um, you know and that's awesome and that's just with, with small steps um, and just getting involved so keep your future mind future you in, in mind and uh, go out